it certainly feels a much more car dominated city. We really want cycling advocates to be well informed about the whole transport system. We're getting close to that tipping point where children walking and cycling becomes a very viable option because it is safe and the paths are there. It's really, really great for my health. It's faster and more convenient than any other way of getting around Auckland. You talk to three cyclists you find they're involved in sort of four different cycling subcultures. There's so many different trends and so many different ways that people identify themselves as being involved with bikes. I think a big part of it is just being aware and talking to people in other regions who are involved in other aspects of it as well and sort of seeing that bigger picture. Without passion, without energy, without uh, complete commitment, um, you don't get taken seriously and you have to be patient because it's big budget expenditure which has to be figured into long term plans and business cases have to be developed and you have to be there for the long run just as we heard today. Things are starting to happen. More people are cycling. Agencies that not too long ago didn't want to open the door to cycling are now having active conversations with cycling groups. Collaboration and engagement is the way forward. In 10 years time cyclists will have started reclaiming some of that public space. Well, this is not really about the bike, as Lance says. It's really about quality of life. It's about the good life. If you're interested in cleaner air, healthier kids, more connected communities, then get on a bike. You'll never look back.